Hi guys, welcome to another maternity haul. So today's haul is going to be from Miss Guided Maternity Range. So if you are new here, my name is Sophie and I am currently just over 33 weeks pregnant. I did a boohoo maternity haul at about 18 weeks pregnant before I went on holiday. So I have not done a maternity haul since then. So with me being now over 33 weeks, I thought it was a good time to do it because obviously I am not going to be doing one anytime soon because I could technically go into labour in like four weeks. So this is my last maternity haul and I've got a big parcel from Misguided. So I think there's about five items in here that are maternity. So nice and quick and cheerful. There's a mixture of dresses and just sort of like loungewear. So I do already have a few things from Misguided Maternity that I was kindly gifted by them. So it is very, very good quality. It's much better quality than Boohoo. And I've actually also done an ASOS maternity haul. So I'm gonna link those videos in the description box below. I did the ASOS one about 25 weeks pregnant. So I find that Misguided is a similar quality to ASOS and Boohoo is just, it's not really bad quality, but it is quite cheap quality clothing. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. I only ordered it yesterday and it's already come today. So that is just great. And I need something to wear on Monday because it's our wedding anniversary. And then I also need a dress for my baby shower. So I'm hoping that this parcel has something for me to wear this weekend and for my baby shower. So I'm just gonna hop straight into it. So first thing I've got a maternity ribbed button up vest. So I'm gonna try this on with a pair of the joggers that I've already got from Misguided Maternity Range. And I've also got some cycling shorts on, so I actually might try it on with those as well. So this is literally just a maternity one. It's not a nursing one. It's a really nice colour. It does look like it might be quite big though, even though it's only size eight. But we'll see. I'm gonna try it on and we'll see how it looks. So I do actually like this vest. I do think it fits quite nice. I probably could have done it with going a bit of a size up just because my bump is so big. But I do think it will also be very good for nursing because you can bring the buttons down quite low and obviously easily get your boobs out and then pop them away as well. So I do think it's actually a really good vest for both maternity and for being a breastfeeding mum. We've then got this maternity smock dress. So this is in colour sage. And on the model on the website, it looks really, really nice. But I did order it in a size 10 because they didn't have any other sizes available. So I'm hoping it's not too big. But because I do have a really big bump, hopefully it will just look nice. I thought I could wear it with trainers or sliders. So I'm hoping that it looks nice because I was planning on wearing this when we go away on Monday or when we go out for the day, as long as it's not too windy because nothing worse than a bit of wind and a nice frilly dress. So obviously the colour's really nice, so we will try it on and see how this one looks. So I really, really like this dress. I like it a lot more than I thought I would. I think it's a gorgeous colour and it just hangs in all the right places. It fits me really, really nice and it makes me feel really comfortable because anything that's tight over my bump right now is just not the best thing for me at all. I usually am not a fan of dresses like this. I do think they make me look a lot bigger than what I am, but because there wasn't much choice on the website with sizes, it was one of the only things that I thought would fit. But I do actually really, really like it and I will definitely be keeping this dress. So next up we have another dress. So this is a gorgeous colour. It's like a blush pink and it's like a midi slinky scooped neck dress. So I'm hoping that this might be good enough for my baby shower. I didn't really want to wear pink or blue because obviously I don't know the sex of the baby, but I was really struggling to find something. So I did have a black dress that I was gonna wear from ASOS and I tried it on last night and it honestly looked dreadful. I just think the black just washed me out and it just made me look huge. And it was quite long for 
the fact that I'm not going to be wearing heels, I'm only going to wear sliders. There's no way that my feet will last in heels. And this baby shower is outside as well because it's in my friend's garden. So I just was trying to find something that would go nice with sliders. So I'm hoping that this looks nice because it is a contender for my baby shower. So I'll try this on now and see how it looks. So I do really like this dress. I think it's really, really flattering. But unfortunately, it's just far too tight for me around my bump. I literally felt like I couldn't breathe at all. So yes, I could go in a size up, but it is already a size 10. And I just feel like even the 12 wouldn't have much more room around the body. And I would just feel really uncomfortable in this if I wore it all day. So even though it's a gorgeous dress and it does actually fit quite nicely, it is just not a contender for me at all with it being my baby shower and having to wear it for most of the day. I've then got another dress which is a contender for my baby shower as well. So this was the most expensive item that I bought on the misguided maternity range. I think it was honestly about £35 which is obviously not extortionate at all but it's the most expensive thing that I've bought in this range and it is a gorgeous dress but it's not very very me even though i think it would be lovely for my baby shower because it's white and it's floaty so i'm hoping that this looks nice i did get it in a uk 8 i was tempted to get a 10 but i just really didn't know what to do i'm hoping that it does look nice and it does fit over my big bum but maybe i do actually need a 10. so it's just like that broadery anglais and it's a nice puffy dress so I'm excited to try this on because, like I said, it's not very me. So we'll see how this looks. So this is similar to the Sage dress. I actually like it a lot more than what I thought I would. Again, with it being quite floaty, it's not really something that I usually wear. But I do think it's a gorgeous dress, especially for a baby shower. It's a perfect colour, especially when you do not know the sex of the baby. I felt really, really comfortable in this dress because it's nice and floaty and my bump hangs free. But unfortunately, after re-looking at it, it is just a little bit too small. So I have actually ordered this in the size 10. So hopefully when that comes, it will fit perfectly for me. Then lastly, all I've got is a, another vest, but this one is an actual nursing vest, so it's got the little clips that you can clip on and off. So I've bought this mainly, obviously, for after I have the baby, so I can wear it with, like, jeans and joggers, and if I'm going out for the day or out for coffee or whatever, I can just unclip the vest, unclip my nursing bra, and hopefully it will make life a little bit easier. So this is exactly the same as the Sage one that I tried on, but it's just in black and obviously it's the actual nursing one where it unclips. So I'll try this on. I'm guessing it will be a similar fit to the Sage one though and we will see how it looks. So I do like the concept of this vest but unfortunately it is just quite big and it does show your bra straps which I'm not a fan of because I will have to wear a bra when I am breastfeeding my baby. It does unbutton quite easily though and buttons back up so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. I'm just going to wait and see a few more weeks to see how it fits. And then I also have on the grey maternity joggers, which I was kindly gifted by Misguided a few months ago. These have been an absolute godsend in my pregnancy and they are literally the comfiest joggers that I own. And I cannot imagine life without them, even when I am not pregnant. Thank you so much for watching my video, guys. So I'm not going to be keeping everything. I'm probably going to send quite a bit of it back. The pink dress was far too tight, which I'm disappointed with because it was a good contender for the baby shower, but it just felt too tight and it's a size 10. So I didn't think that it would, but it was even tight on like my legs and my bum and I've not even put weight on there. I would say I've actually lost weight on my legs and my bum because I'm not as muscly as I used to be. So I do like the white dress. But again, I don't even know if I need to go size pin that. Obviously, I did get it in an 8 and I think maybe a 10 might fit just a little bit nicer. So I'm going to try it on again with a white bra and white knickers and just see how it looks. But I'm just getting rounder and rounder and it's really, really difficult to dress yourself. So I really love the sage floaty dress. I felt really, really comfortable in that. So I'm definitely keeping that. And then the only thing with the maternity 
feeding top was it just didn't really sit right and it showed my actual bra straps and obviously I'm going to need a bra on because my boobs will be full of milk so there's no way that I can't not wear a bra and I just don't know I'm going to have to see I'm going to try it all on again because trying things on for a video is very different to trying things on sort of on your own in front of the mirror but I hope you enjoyed my last maternity haul for this one pregnancy and please make sure you subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.